I'm Tracy McMillan, Head and Neck Clinical Nurse Specialist in Queen Elizabeth University Hospital in Glasgow. We have Peter here today with us and we will be talking through step by step how to change his inner tracheostomy tube. My name is Peter McIntyre. I'm a and I've had my trachea for the last seven months. This video is for patients caring for their tracheostomy tube at home. You will have been advised by your head and neck team if this can be done at home. So this is what we'll be using today. We have the Buchanan Protector, barrier cream, skin barrier wipes, cleaning swabs, tracheostomy inner tube and a tracheostomy speaking valve. You will remove the inner tracheostomy tube and replace it with the new inner tracheostomy tube. And this will click into place. You will clean the surrounding skin. Clean any crusting around the stoma and under the flange and tapes. Try not to worry if you cough during the tube change. This is normal. Barrier cream can be applied to the surrounding skin round about the stoma, under the flange and under the neck tapes. If you wear a speaking valve, this can be put on the end of the inner tracheostomy tube. The Buchanan protector can be worn for humidification over the tracheostomy tube. You can wash the inner tube with water and the cleaning swabs to remove any mucus and crusting from the inner tube. Once the tube is cleaned, this is reusable. Don't panic. It does get easier as you go on. 